its full time at the Emirates Stadium and uh, it's an embarrassing result for Chelsea as they've lost 5-0 to Arsenal and uh, I think losing 5-0 to your rival I think is not acceptable you know if you're losing by one goal two goal uh, margin but losing by five goal margin that is not acceptable while playing your rival in such an important game for both two clubs Arsenal I think they, they were brilliant throughout the game but Chelsea I think they missed Cole Palmer so much and uh, before the game uh, Pochettino was asked how he will approach the game without their talisman Cole Palmer and he said that the players that were going to play today against Arsenal they were going to play because this is Chelsea football club and not Cole Palmer football club and I think we can all agree that it is Cole Palmer football club as Chelsea were clueless throughout the game. They were having the ball but they did not know what to do with that ball. Looking at Arsenal, the way they were passing up to Isaka, you know, Odegaard, Rice, uh, Trosa, the way they were changing, you know, passing one to one to shows you that uh, Arsenal is a football team. But uh, for Chelsea, I think it's just uh, one football team that is called Palmer. And his absence was today felt with Chelsea only registering one shot on target in 90 minutes. So the game starts when i look at the game start shows shows you why arsenal have managed to score five goal against chelsea you know chelsea have the majority of the, the position they had 55 of position but arsenal only have 45 percent of position but when you look at the uh the shots arsenal had 27 shots against chelsea's seven shots throughout the game Chelsea only managing one shot on target uh, through the game, the 90 minutes plus seven. Uh, it's embarrassing. It's devastating. It is uncalled for. A club like Chelsea is a big club and should be, I uh, know, competing in a match. And uh, today they were not competing and it was all Arsenal. As Arsenal had 10 shots on target, I told you earlier they had 27 shots on target uh, or rather 27 shots throughout the game but uh, they had 10 shots on target with uh, five of them were goals and once again brilliant fantastic football from the Gunners and uh, they deserve the, the, the three points they deserve the clean sheet once again David Raya uh, was brilliant again you know uh, saving someone or two uh, there and also the defense was good and um, all in all five goals a clean sheet three points leading it's a good day for the arsenal but for chelsea they need to rethink now because uh it's going to be tough remember now arsenal are first in the league with 77 points arsenal are leading with 77 points having played two games more than manchester city who are sitting third with 70 at three points so arsenal are uh, sitting four points ahead of the, the, the citizens manchester city uh, but uh, they've played two games more compared to the citizens who have played i think 32 arsenal have played 34 games and um I think Liverpool at second with 74 points, having played uh, one game less compared to Arsenal. And they're playing tomorrow against Liverpool. It's also against Everton. And they must say that be tomorrow, Liverpool versus Everton at the Goodison Park with the citizens facing Brighton um, on Thursday. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. And Arsenal, I think Arsenal fans will now be shifting their gears on Wednesday as they'll be cheering on for Everton at the Goodison Park as they'll be facing Liverpool and also supporting uh, Brighton on, and Halvion on Thursday as they'll be facing Manchester City. So uh, it's going to be a busy week for the Arsenals as well as they are facing Tottenham Hotspurs on Sunday in the North London Derby. It's going to be an important game as, as well for the Gunners as they look to win their first ever Premier League title in almost two years. So three points, five goals, a clean sheet for the Gunners is a good day for Arsenal. And uh, I think uh, they've been brilliant this season. I uh, remember a setback against Aston Villa I didn't uh, hold them back and also being out, out of the Champions League against Bayern Munich also didn't hold them down uh, hold them back and uh, uh, they've responded quite well the 2-0 win against Wolves and also the 5-0 against Chelsea is massive massive result for the uh, for the Gunners seven goals two clean sheet and uh six points in two games perfect so um 
straight into it. The first goal was scored by Leandro Trossa in the fourth minute. Arsenal started quite well and uh, they scored the first goal through Leandro Trossa, assisted by Matt, uh, Declan Rice. He has been good since his move from the, the, the from the Hamas first term to the Gunners this season. Things been brilliant. Uh, he's been uh, there on you know, attacking and defending. So he's a box to box midfielder and he's playing as a defensive one. And I think uh, hats off for him. It's been brilliant. Uh, he's assisted the first goal scored by Lando Trossa in the fourth minute uh, and uh, after the goal I think Chelsea woke up and uh, they were th they were now threatening Arsenal and uh, they were having some attacks uh, I remember Jackson missed one and also Kukurela missed one um, Non Madweke also missed one so Enzo Fernandez also missed one so I think uh, as Chelsea were brilliant in the first half after conceding the goal Oh, the first half ended one uh, one nil with Arsenal leading, and uh, coming in the second second half, they were brilliant. They changed their game from the first half, and uh, they were dominating. And uh, Chelsea gave in, and Ben White scored the second sec the second goal in the fifty second minute, and five minutes later, King Kai K Havers scored his eleventh goal for the Arsenal since his move from Chelsea to make it three nil for the Gunners, and. He celebrated, he didn't mind. Uh, he did the Dembele on Barcelona and celebrated his goal in the third goal for the Gunners and scored the fifth, the fourth as well, assisted by Bukayo Saka in the 65th minute. So, two goals for covers against his, his former club, Chelsea. I think uh, his move from Barbecusen to Chelsea, I think I uh, did not, uh, apart from the goal he scored against Manchester City in the Champions League final, I think uh, he didn't have a good time at Chelsea. He was not uh, at his peak or maybe uh, at, at his best. But since his move from the bridge through Emirates Stadium, I think uh, we've seen a new different or a different Kai Havers. Um, he been playing as a number nine for Arsenal. I remember when he came in, was playing as a midfielder, a midfield three over uh, Rice, uh, him, Kai Havers, and uh, Otigard. But this setup, all this kind of lineup, didn't work out for the for Teta. And he's changed and bringing Jorginho in midfield and pushed Havers on top as a number nine. And um, Jesus was a uh, a bench or rather was reduced to the bench and I think it's been brilliant scoring his 12th goal for the Arsenal against Chelsea. It's a brilliant it's, 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 um, I think it's a, a great achievement for Havers to score against your former club and celebrate like Dembele did against Barcelona. So I think uh, he deserves it uh, and uh, hearts off for him to score his 12th goal against his former club. In the 70th minute, uh, Ben White scored his second goal and assisted by Odegaard who got his second assist of the match. It was 5-0 for the Arsenal and I think that that was it. Chelsea decided to defend with uh, Enzo Fernandez replaced by Shaloba in that defense partner, uh, that defense setup. And I think they managed, Chelsea managed to hold on until the 9th plus 7 minute. They didn't concede any goal from there. And the match ended 5-0 in favor of Arsenal. And uh, I think Chelsea are now ninth. They've remained ninth with 47 points. They are 19 points um, below the top four. And I think uh, the Champions League is gone. As we speak, the Champions League for Chelsea is gone uh, because uh, I think uh, there's six games remaining for them to play the, this. So that is uh, 18 points. And they are 19 points below the top four. That means top four is gone. Champions League is gone. Now their next target is to play in Europa League next season, which I think uh, they, they need to win the next game. And uh, that remain that's the, the six games they need to win them all if they are to true future or to play in Europe, that is Europa League next season. They are 13 points off top five. Uh, I think. Um, but they are 30 points up to 6. I think number 5 and 6 will be able to play in Europa League, if I'm not wrong there. And number 7 to play in Conference League. So um, they have a chance to feature in Europe next season. And they need to do better, not depend on one player that's called Palmer. Uh, he missed today. I think he's ill, not injured. He's ill and maybe he may be fit to face Aston Villa. You remember Chelsea next game is against Aston Villa at the Villa Park. Tough game as well as Aston Villa are chasing the top four uh, this season. And um, it's going to be a different game from the one against Arsenal. They may have a chance if Cole Palmer will be able to play that match. So that's it. I think uh, the gap between Chelsea and Arsenal, I think it's wide at the moment. Uh, not just the points, but I'm talking about the general play. And uh, I think Arsenal 
at the moment they are far ahead of uh, Chelsea and uh, for Chelsea to be where Arsenal are now first thing they need to do is stick with their manager I remember two three seasons ago Arsenal were in the same same position that Chelsea are right now and they stuck with Mikel Ateta and they back they, they back him with players good signings and um we've seen how Ateta have turned it around for the Gunners and uh, now they're challenging for the title which they, they're now doing in two stone in a row and uh the same thing Chelsea should do the first mistake mistake Chelsea did was to uh, fire at Mark Thomas Tuchel and uh, I think that's that that is when the rain started beating Chelsea the moment they parted ways with the, the, the German technician and uh I think now they are they're having poach the Argentine and uh, they need they need to stick with him and uh, they have good players only they know is that the only thing they need at the moment is to stick with the manager back him and um you know you win not just only by uh by you know the young talents you need experienced players and at the moment chelsea doesn't have experienced players uh, that's why they're depending on cole palmer who is i think is playing his first season uh in a top flight remember at master city was also always playing in the academy uh, playing the first team games maybe in the carabao maybe coming in the second half so i think uh, his first season in a top flight and I think brilliant. This shows you that Chelsea needs um, they need quality players who are experienced in this kind of uh, league. So for them to be where Arsenal are right now, they need to bring in top top players. Thanks for your time.